the earth is a living organism and everything in it is interconnected. The earth is as much as an organism as a human and it's just as vulnerable. Our illusion of happiness and well-being can be shattered in a moment. Eighty percent of lungs are damaged. Each year, the world loses about 10 million hectares of forest area, equivalent to 27 soccer fields per minute. In 2015, an estimated 50% of the planet's wild forest had gone. If the trend is not stopped, we will only have 10% of the world's original forest left by 2030. In addition to industrial logging, large numbers of forests are being destroyed by annual fires, abnormal weather phenomena, and acid rains. Forests are also being destroyed in the so-called green pursuit. For example, 9,000 trees have to be cut down to produce a year's supply of paper bags for just one retail store. Forests are known to provide oxygen, but they are also home to many species of animals and plants. Deforestation leads to soil erosion, reduced river water availability, and enhanced greenhouse effect. And despite the signing of the UN Declaration on Forest in 2014, which aims to have deforestation by 2020 and to stop it permanently by 2030, the global average annual gross tree cover loss has increased by 40% in recent years. If forests disappear, one-third of humanity, which is currently heavily dependent on forest and forest products, will suffer poverty and death. 75% of skin is affected. As of today, 75% of Earth's land area is already degraded as a result of human activity. By 2050, that figure could reach 90%. The main sources of soil contamination are industry, transport, agriculture, nuclear power, and huge areas of landfills. The production of environmentally friendly human health products is impossible on contaminated soil. Every year, 30 billion tons of fertile land are depleted worldwide. In other words, the equivalent of one soccer field of soil is eroded every five seconds. In the meantime, it can take up to a thousand years to produce one centimeter of fertile soil, which means we will not be able to increase the soil layer in our lifetime. Almost half of the topsoil on Earth has been depleted in the last 150 years. Land degradation leads to food shortages and famine. Currently, about 40% of the world's population is affected by land degradation. It is more than 3 billion people. Oxygen deficiency is being observed. Nine out of 10 people worldwide breathe polluted air. The main sources of anthropogenic air pollution are emissions by industrial plants, as well as all types of transport vehicles, thermal power plants, and waste incineration. Air pollution is one of the leading threats to child health, accounting for almost one in 10 deaths in children under five years of age. 24% of all deaths among adults are caused from heart diseases, 25% from stroke, 29% from lung cancer, all of which are induced by air pollution. 
Air pollution generated by burning fossil fuels is attributed to approximately 4.5 million premature deaths worldwide every year. The WHO estimates that air pollution kills more than 7 million people annually. Liver badly damaged. Marshes are a giant natural filter that effectively absorbs carbon dioxide, dust, and toxic elements from water and air. Within one year, one hectare of swamp absorbs three tons of dust from the air and seven to 15 times more carbon dioxide than a hectare of forest, and releases seven to 15 times more oxygen. Meanwhile, about 90% of wetlands have disappeared all over the world in the last 300 years, and now we continue to lose them three times faster than forest. Reasons for the disappearance of marshes are drainage for further agricultural use, urban expansion, and peat extraction. Swamps are being depleted as a result of water loss due to the wares and dams, construction, deforestation, and soil erosion. Contamination of marshes is caused by oil spills. Thus, the most important function of the marshes, cleansing the atmosphere, is impaired. If marshes stop absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere, its concentration will increase by 28% annually. Marshes are strategic storages of freshwater. Less than 1% of water on Earth is usable freshwater and is mostly stored in wetlands. The disappearance of marshes leads to a significant reduction in the supply of fresh water. The blood test is not good. 2.2 billion people around the world do not have access to safely managed drinking water. Water scarcity already affects 4 out of every 10 people. Globally, at least 1.8 billion people have to use a drinking water source contaminated with feces. 2.6 million people die each year of diseases relating to the water and an unsanitary environment. That's 5 deaths every minute. 297,000 children under 5 die annually from diarrheal diseases due to poor sanitation, poor hygiene, or unsafe drinking water. According to the UN report, World Water Development Report, by 2025, an estimated 5.5 billion people may be living in areas facing moderate to severe water stress. The deterioration of the water scarcity situation will lead to mass migrations and as a consequence to conflicts and wars over this natural resource. According to the estimates of the world's water portal of the Pacific Institute, between 2010 and 2019, worldwide, there have been 466 water-related conflicts of various scales. 36 of them were armed battles, and 285 caused damage to water infrastructure. According to statistics, regions that had previously no problems with fresh water sources also find themselves in the zone of such conflicts. The researchers believe this trend will continue. The frequency of water conflicts will increase, affecting more and more countries. The immune system is destroyed. Around 1 million animals and plants are threatened with extinction. The global biomass of wild mammals has fallen by 82%. In the past century alone, the number of species that have gone extinct is as much as it would normally take 10,000 years to accrue. The current rate of extinctions is now rapidly approaching that of about 70 million years ago when the dinosaurs went extinct in the most terrible era for fauna. In 2018, biologists estimated that given the current extinction rate of mammals, it would take three to five million years to restore the planet's diversity. 
The disappearance of plant and animal species leads to the instability of ecosystems and, consequently, to the disruption of natural human habitats. From the UN report, the projected biodiversity loss will affect all people, with particularly detrimental effects on indigenous peoples and local communities, as well as to the poorer and vulnerable groups, taking into account their dependence on biodiversity for their livelihoods. The vital signs of the body are sharply impaired. The patient is in a critical condition and brain tumor has been detected. The consumer lifestyle of humans is like a malignant tumor on the Earth's body. It is constantly growing, consuming and consuming, and taking everything it needs from the macroorganism for itself. It doesn't share, doesn't think about others, which results in the death of the organism along with the cancer tumor. If no global action is taken today, tomorrow it will be too late. The planet you live on is dying. The Creative Society is our only chance.